Oh no! Wait, I did not do that. Hey, it's Michael King again here. And today I have a tutorial for the gamer. I'm gonna show you how to use your gamepad, whether it be, you know, uh, a gamepad made for the computer or your 360 controller or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to use your gamepad with any, and I do mean any computer game, as long as you have. A USB. Uh, as long as you have a USB type 2.0 connection or 3.0, it wouldn't really matter. Anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna configure it using this program called XPattern. That so that when you push a button here, your computer really thinks that you're pushing a button here. And you're also gonna configure it that when you move an an analog stick, your computer's gonna think that you're moving, you're moving this baby. So it's, the concept is pretty simple, but the results are pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you xpatter.com and it's 10 bucks. It's totally worth it. You should really do it. Support this dude. I think his name is Jonathan. Yeah, the developer. So go ahead and buy it off of, uh, I think PayPal is the only way you could buy it with. But, um, you should really get it. Um, I have it here. So, I'm go ahead and launch it. Start. Okay. Okay. There are two of them. Make sure you click my documents on this step. Associate. Here it is. Um, Here's X pattern and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So I'm gonna click here and click new. Then you're gonna go here and I will give you the link for this and you find your specific controller. They have a huge database. Me specifically I have the let me search it's uh Logitech. Logitech F three ten, that's mine. So you click copy, you don't wanna save it. Because if you save it, it'll probably be saved as a PNG when you don't want it in that format. You want it in a, I forgot what format. Um, so I copied. And, oh, sorry, you're going to click paste. I'm going to go ahead and click paste. Now you can see the image of my controller. That's uh, not really my controller. Make sure your controller is plugged in right now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set everything up. So sticks. You want to enable them. Then you want to drag this to where your stick is, right? And you enable this one, drag it to where it is. Oh, hold on, sorry. Let me let me do that again. When you drag it here, it's gonna tell you to push left. So on my controller, I pushed left. Now I'm gonna push up, and now it has everything memorized. I mean, it can figure out the other two based on what I just did. Then I take this, and it says push left, push left, push up push up and now it has it has them memorized now as you can see whenever I when I do this it responds on the screen because I've registered them then your d-pad you want to enable it and D is for directional then you want to do what it says down left right and then buns um, then what, what for your buttons you just push them on your gamepad and it'll generate them so I have A and I that's my A just when you push it it'll pop up then my X pops up my Y pops up and my V pops up then your triggers enable them uh, my left trigger and my right trigger. And for some controllers, there's two of these. This is the trigger. This is not. This is a button. So you'll just have you'll have to add that as a button. I forgot to do that. So just click it, drag it, click this one, drag it over. Uh, and the back button, click that, put it there. Um, these other buttons don't work. This one does. These two do not respond. Oh, and remember this is also a button so you want to push that 
in, then drag it over, then you want to push that in, and drag it over. And you basically have it configured. Now that you have it configured, you want to come back here, and you want to tell it what to do. So, hmm, I'm going to play a racing game, and I like to control the car with... My, oh, sorry. I like to control the car with the right analog, not the left one. So I'm going to tell it that when I click that, see how I click this? Then on my keyboard, I click the, the adjacent key. Not adjacent, but you know, corresponding. And I click that, and I click that. That, that. So then for here, I don't know what I want that to do, but anyway. You, I, I think you get the idea. And, um, hmm, say you're playing a uh, FPS game, so you want this to be a trigger. So, oh, sorry. So, so you, you have to remember what the computer recognizes for your game. So then, over here is your mouse. This is your mouse. So, this is your mouse button one. And that's, that's the normal, the left click. So that's what I want, that's what I want, um, that's what I want my trigger to be. Now, as you will notice, oh, sorry, let me, let me show you. Over here, let me just configure these real quick with my mouse. Um, oh, nope, sorry, let me reconfigure that. Ugh, it's getting confusing. Click that, click that, click that. Like that. Now you will notice I can move around my mouse with my joystick or uh, whatever you want to call it, analog stick, whatever. Because I've configured it to think it's my mouse. I'm moving it with my mouse, moving it with a stick. And, you know, n now I can. So basically, now you get the idea. So. We're going to test it in a second. I don't want to configure all the buttons, just for the sake of time. Now, I'm assuming you know what this is, because if you don't know what Angry Birds is, you don't get out enough. So, I'm going to use my mouse. Uh, I'm going to use my X pattern, my pad as my mouse. Drag it over the bird. Click. Oh, boy. We're in trouble. Yeah, click. Drag him. Then re then hold on. I'm not the grace of this game. Then release. Come on now. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. Yeah, I'm 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 doing one more level. Gonna get you this time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? Just one more. Okay, got him. what alright so basically it's been Michael King the Falcon's Nest I'll put the links up let me know if the links I put up are dead but you should really get the software this is not only for the gamer okay they're, they're getting in line let me pause these birds make them quiet close this it's not only for the gamer it's for anyone who's ever thought about using this as your mouse it's awesome. You should try it out. You should check it out. The 10 bucks is totally worth it, and I'm sure Jonathan would be happy to refund you if you're not happy. He probably wouldn't.